Welcome back, Radical Viewer. Welcome back. Sashi Birdie. Um, thirty minutes. All right, let me guess. I hate this, I can't do anything no matter how many times you play, it's all the same. It would re be really easy, really, really easy to kill myself right now, but that would mean I don't get to talk to you anymore. All I want is for you to hate them. Why is that so hard? Can you hear me? Notice <laughs> me? No. Can you hear me? There's a little devil inside of all of us. Beneath their manufactured perception, their artificial reality, there's a writhing, twisted mess of dread, loathing, judgment, elitism, self-doubt, all thrashing to escape the feeble hold of their host, seeping through every little crevice they can find into their willpower, starving them of all motivation and desire, into their stomachs, forcing them to drown their guilt in comforting food, or all the newly opened gat, or into a newly opened gash in their skin, hidden only by the sleeves of the of a cute new shirt such a deplorable tangled mess is already present in every single one of them that's why i choose not to blame myself for their actions all i did was untie the knot Okay, Natsuki's still here, evidently. Okay. Game. Entering the club room, welcome back, Big Booty Bow, and hi, Yuri. I'm not sure if it's me or Yuri's expression, but the weight of yesterday's quarrel is still hanging. Um, Yuri glances over his shoulder and looks around the room. Natsuki is reading manga at the desk. Surprisingly, Monica isn't here yet. Suddenly, Yuri takes an arm and pulls me to the corner of the room. But yesterday, uh, I need to apologize, nothing happened, uh, 
sound like this, uh, Suki as well, yes, yep, yep, okay. I believe we've already been through all this. What's going on here? Okay, I'm pretty sure we've already read all this. Okay. I think we can just like delete Natsuki. <laughs> Logically, that feels like a reasonable thing to do. Should we delete her? What should we do? It, Monica didn't delete her, which has a sign. I don't know why Monica wouldn't delete her. Monica definitely should have deleted her. I feel like Monica should have deleted her, right? We're not deleting Yuri. Yuri didn't die at all.
We've already done all this before. I know it, pack up, ounce clubs, uh, okay, Monica shows up, um, I talked, uh, yeah, this all seems the same. Okay, well, well yeah, welcome in, Monica, welcome in, welcome in, how's everything going, how's it, um, a literature club, yes, yes, literature, literature is a thing, okay. you for telling me about literature and what literature is literature manga yes literature yes so oh, literature 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 yes 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 a guest seriously you brought a boy Way to kill the atmosphere. Matsuki, welcome to the club, Big Booty Bow. Um, words escape me in this situation. This club is full of incredibly cute girls. And my his boyfriend, no, 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 no. Um, don't recognize, small figure, first year. Matsuki's energetic as usual. Um, spice present. He appears more mature and timid. Um, Nice to meet both of you. Ran big booty bow in the class. Great, wait. Did you tell me that? Well, I'm sorry. Um, it didn't do him. Made tea last night. Um, that would be great. Um, why don't you sit down, big booty bow? Have a few desks arranged at the table. Um, Yuri walks the corner. Uh, blah, blah, blah. While Monica sits across from each other. And, uh,. There aren't more people in this club yet. It's be hard to start any. Put it that way. Uh, 
keep these about 50 degrees. It's a teacup in front of it. Okay. Okay, have we, haven't we been through all this? That was a good idea. Thank you, right, Monica. Yeah, yeah. Yep. I haven't decided to join the club yet. Those, um, girls exchange, uh, Yep, uh, defenseless, blah, 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 here we go, yep, right, um, decided to join, okay, good, 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 good. Okay, everyone, I can do the minute with that, uh, here we go, I'm okay. yep. No anxiety, welcome, up inside. Yuri, and of course Monica. Okay, yep. All right. Great. Um. Thank you. Happy thoughts. Yep. It's fortune. No. Um. Universe. Agonizing. Captive summer, grace, eternity, unending, the ground jumpy, giggle, inferno, climax, imagination, extreme, determination, uncontrollable, contamination, philosophy, excitement, nope, not excitement, um, uncanny, disoriented, what? <laughs> I mean, we were. Hi again. Uh, glad to see you away. Nah, don't worry. It might be a little strange, but. Literature club, um, Sam, thank you for your promise, Big Rebo. Uh, yep, all this. Okay, welcome in, Natsuki. Okay, Monica still does that. Should I be picking up a book to read? Well, I can't say no either way. Um, wait. Anything, I guess. Uh, it's not like that, Yuri. I want to try to be a part of this club. So, even if I don't read often, I might be able to pick up a book if you wanted me to. Okay, yep. Um, reaches out of a bag. Um, yeah, I take the book. Um, my own pace. Settled. I want to go to kick out the schedule. Um, yep. Uh, so I'm really curious about Yuri a little bit more. At the same time, I feel bad for distracting from you. Catch a glimpse of the cover. Looks the same as the book she lent me. More than that, she seems to be on the first few pages. Uh, crap. I think she noticed me looking at her. You fucking think? <laughs> she sneaks another glance at me and our 
I use meat for a split second. But that only makes her hide her face deeper into her book. Sorry. Just spacing out. <sighs> Fuck. Made her uncomfortable. Oh. It's fine. I was just focusing and I wouldn't have and I probably wouldn't have noticed you in the first place. But I'm just rereading a bit of this, so it that's the book you gave me, right? Mm-hmm. Oh my goodness, her fucking eyes! <laughs> oh my goodness, Yuri, your eyes! Oh no! Oh, that's... Ah, oh, that's... I have to reread some of it. Yep, yep. Not for any particular reason. Uh, just curious. How come you have two copies of the same book? Uh, well, when I... I stopped at the bookstore yesterday, um, that's not what I meant, I mean, I just happened to buy two of them. Ah, I see. There's something fairly obvious here that Yuri isn't telling me, but I decide to let it go. <laughs> She's going wide-eyed, yeah. Hmm. <sighs> I'll definitely start reading it soon. I'm glad to hear. Mm. Fuck, I need some water. I'll be right back. And I'm back. Hard time putting it down. It's very engaging and relatable story. Is that so? What's the story about? Well, um, read the cover of books. Um, mm hmm. Mm hmm. Okay, we've already seen all this. So what's up with the bold outlining? I always, I haven't played this game a whole lot. I played one round and it was Yuri the first time around. And then I dropped the game for some reason. Although I know a lot of what happens in the game. Oh 
Okay, we've already done, been through all this. Not gonna take this club seriously, go home. What? Harsh. This club can believe that you actually put effort into this. Do you think I'm stupid? I'm not a. I'm not a writer. Maybe it's not very good, but yeah, I did put at, put in effort. Well, we all still start somewhere, right? Ugh. Well, if you're still still proud of the first poem you ever wrote, then. I'd like to read it. Yeah. Painful to think about? Mm. Fine. Well, sorry. Only you'll get better anyway. I'll tell you what to improve. You're better off just trying again. Fair enough. Well, these are on, I guess. And in case I guess I gotta just show you mine. I mean, you'll probably think it's stupid. Here's some fly up. Okay, okay, we've been through all of this already. reality uh you know there is probably much more interesting place for her. okay yep yep here he's back not really uh already, uh blah 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 Surroundings of blah 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 blah. I feel like we've read this before. Uh, already been through this. As you read the poem, I notice her eyes lighten. Exceptional. And what was that? Did, did I say that aloud? Yuri covers her mouth, but then ends up covering her whole face. I, uh, 
he's going to hate me. Um, you really didn't do anything wrong, Yuri. That's... I guess you're right. Oh, I'm getting so, What am I getting so nervous for? <laughs> Yuri takes a breath. So, what kind of writing experience do you have? Your use of imagery and metaphors indicates you've written a lot of poetry before. Really? Well, that's a huge compliment coming from you. It's actually the first time... Really, this is... This is actually my first time, really. Huh? Yuri stares at me blankly then, looks at my poem again. Well, I know that. Just meant, um... Yuri trails off, unable to find an excuse. She traces her fingers along the words in the poem and, as if breaking it down more thoroughly. Yeah, okay. It's reasonable. I was able to tell. It's just, there are not specific writing habits that are usually typical of new writers. I have been through that myself and picked up a. Uh, oh, I recognize in new writers and they try to make their own styles very deliberate. In other words, I tend to pick a writing style separate from the topic matter and form fit the two together. The end result is a both style and expressiveness are weakened. Once Yuri finds her train of thought, she totally changes. Her stammering is completely gone, and yep. Mm -hmm. I mean, yep, uh, Bidak. Suit can be a little biased, though. Biased how? Uh, yep. Well, never mind. Um, yep, sorry. Uh, it's fine. <laughs> I'm not sure if Yuri is apologizing to herself or me or not, Suit. You mind if I read your poem now? Please do. I... Yep. Yep. Yep, I've already... We've already been through all this. And the Natsuki one that we did. God. Yeah, Monica changes their dialogue. Yep, it's just the entire argument again. Hi! Yes? Step outside for a little bit. Yeah. Why don't we? Thanks, Joe. Sorry about that. Uh, 
Didn't mean it, didn't mean it, okay, um. Okay, um. Really? Definitely. Plan done it anyway. Okay. We can start now. Let's find a place to sit. Uh, being a little too forceful, aren't I? I'm sorry. My heart just won't stop pounding for some reason. Don't worry about it. If anything, it's nice to see you. I have so much energy. Y yeah, but I need to try to calm down. I won't be able to focus on reading like this. Take your time. Yuri takes a deep breath and then pulls out a copy of a book from her bag. Actually, I have a request. Do you mind if I make some tea first? Not at all. Thanks very much. If there's one thing that can make my reading time here any be my reading time here any better, it's a nice cup of tea. Not to mention for yourself as well. Yuri stands up and makes her. Wait to the closet. I follow and watch as she retrieves a small water pitcher from the shelf, the kind of the kind with a water filter inside. Can you hold this for a second? Sure. Yuri hands me the water pitcher and also fetches an electric kettle. Okay, why was no no timed out this time? TJ, he gave genuine advice this time. <laughs> He's plotting up the game. TJ. No longer a heretic. That was, that's what I'm saying. I'm going to plug this in at the teacher's desk and I'll go get some water. She walks past the seat and sets the kettle down on the teacher's desk. I simply watch her movements. To my surprise, 
The way she moves really contrasts her speaking mannerisms, especially because of her long legs. Yuri appears elegant and methodical. Okay, may I have the water pitcher? Thanks, I'll be right back. I might as well walk with you. Th that's okay. You stay here. I won't take long. Pitcher in hand, Yuri hurries out of the classroom. Ah, huh. did Yuri leave again? Leave you again? No, it's not like that this time. She's just filling up water pitcher to make tea. Oh, okay. Sorry for misunderstanding. Sorry for misunderstanding. Ugh. Ten minutes pass. Yuri said she wouldn't take long. Is something holding her up? I'm bored just waiting, so I decided to go look for her. Let's see. The most logical place for Yuri to be is the nearest water fountain. I start heading down the hallway. What's that noise? It's coming from around the corner. It sounds like breathing. A sharp inhale, like someone is sucking the air through their teeth. Are they in pain? I reach the corner and peer around it. Yuri? Yeah. Oh! Healthy it is. Yeah. Okay! <laughs> I know, I know. Seems healthy. Thanks for waiting patiently. Big booty bow. Do you like oolong tea? Uh, yeah. Anything's fine. Very well. Yuri sets the temperature on the kettle to 200 degrees. Now it's time to get the teapot. You really do this properly, don't you? Of course. I shouldn't do any less when I'm making tea for others. Even if I'm not an expert in tea or anything. <laughs> in that case, you only have to. You'll only be even more, be even more impressed. Ah, perhaps I will. Yuri fetches the teapot and begins measuring the tea levels, the tea leaves. To my surprise, she even starts humming a little to herself. You, mu you must be in a good mood now. Is that so? I was, I was letting it show. And you noticed? I was doing a bit of thinking, and I decided I would try expressing myself a little more. It turns out, it's not very hard for me to do when it's you who's around anyway ah that's great Yuri just don't push yourself too much you're always worrying about me big booty bow it's very endearing that's Yuri wasn't kidding I don't even know if I if I can't keep up with this if I can keep up with this I watch Yuri pour a cup of tea for each of us. Big Booty Bow, I have another request. Do you mind if I, if we sit on the floor today? Eh, why's that? It's a little bit easier on my back. I can read my back against the wall rather than fanning over that, over my desk. Ah, sorry, I didn't realize. No worries. I just have back pain fairly regularly, so I do my best to manage it. Is that so? I wonder why that is. 
it's most likely because my uh, my your posture, right? Always hunched over <laughs> while reading. Is that while reading? Yes. I have terrible reading posture. So that's why I should sit on the floor. Fair enough. How's the stream? Hello, Mr. President. How's the office? <laughs> I'll go ahead and get the book. I retrieved the book from my bag. Ah, oh, I have some chocolate as well. A bag of small chocolate candies. I take it since all since it'll go well with the tea. Yuri and I then <sighs> sit against the wall, tea cups at our side. As if in sync we assume the same reading position as last time. Each holding one half of the book, except this time, our bodies are even closer to each other. I... I can't see too well. Your hmm? side is closer until our shoulders are touching. How am I supposed to focus on reading like this? It was always kind of cute, but... When she's being less apprehensive, it's almost more than I can handle. Your teacup. Yuri hands me a teacup. Holding it with the hand that's not holding the book, I end up in a position that makes it even a harder to focus. Because now I need to worry about making sure I don't accidentally touch her chest. Meanwhile, Yuri doesn't notice a single thing. <laughs> Hasn't noticed a thing, single thing. She wears, she wears her intense reading expression, and I can only presume the world around her has faded away. I use all my willpower to focus on reading. After a few minutes, I finally manage to relax a little. I put a teacup between my legs and fumble with chocolate with a chocolate wrapper. Ah, sorry. I briefly let go of the book to finish opening the wrapper. You can have as much as you want. Uh, that's... That's okay, I won't take any. Yeah, are you sure? Well, if I touch it, then I might get smudges on the pages. Ah, you're right. Can't even think of that. My bad. No need to apologize. I'll hold the book. I'll hold the book, okay? Are you sure? Of course. Yuri opens the book with both hands. She holds it so that I don't have have <laughs> she holds it so that I don't have any harder of a time reading from it but as a result her left arm is practically riding on top of my resting on top of my leg well in that case Yuri is totally focused on reading again I take a chocolate candy and pop it into my mouth and I take another chocolate candy hold it up to Yuri she doesn't even look away from the book. She simply parts her lips as if the situation was completely natural. But that means I can't stop here. I apprehensively place the chocolate in her mouth. Just just like that, Yuri closes her lips over it. Yuri's ex expression suddenly breaks. Did, did I just... Yuri looks at me like she needs to... Confirm what just happened. Um, big booty bow. S sorry. I guess I shouldn't have done that. Uh, Yuri starts breathing heavily. I... I can't... Big booty bow. Suddenly, Yuri forcefully grabs my arm and jerks me to my feet. My teacup gets knocked over. Big booty bow? My heart... My heart won't stop pounding, big booty bow. I can't calm down. I can't focus on anything anymore. Can you feel it, Big Booty Bow? Yuri suddenly presses her hand, my hand against her chest. Why is this happening to me? It feels like I'm losing my mind. I can't make it stop. It even makes me not want to read. I just want to look at you. Oh my goodness, her eyes. Uh -huh. 
Um, um, it's time to share poems. <laughs> Big Booty Bow, I think you saw something earlier that you weren't supposed to see. I didn't want to have to tell you this, but I don't think I have a choice. It's getting kind of dangerous for you to spend so much time with Yuri. I don't know why, but she seems pretty easily exci excitable when she's around you. Which shouldn't be a problem in itself, but when Yuri gets too excited, she finds a place to hide and starts cutting herself with a pocket knife. Ah! That's why her knife is sharp! <laughs> Understood! <laughs> Welcome in, Liza. How are you? Um. So because I like them. Um. Yep. Okay. We are. Yep. Isn't that kind of messed up? She even brings a different one to school every day. Like she has a collection or something. I mean. It's definitely not because she's depressed or anything like that. I think she just gets some kind of high from it. I mean, it might even be a sexual thing. But the point is, you've been enabling her. I'm not saying it's your fault though, but I guess that's why I had to explain, some, explain it all to you. So, I think if you keep your distance, it would probably be for the, be the best for her. Well, you're at it. Don't be sh shy to spend a little more time with me. I, to put it lightly, at least I at least have it t together in my head, and I know how to treat my club members. But anyway, want to read my poem now? Yeah, sure. I like the way this one turned out, and I hope you do too. for this. Let's see what you've written for today. Yuri stares at my poem with a surprised expression on her face. Do you like it? Big booty bow. This one might be even better than yesterday's. How did you even pick up on this so quickly? Just yesterday I was telling you the kind of techniques worth practicing. Maybe that's, maybe that's why. You did a good job explaining. I really wanted to try giving it more imagery. Yuri visibly swallows. Even her hands appear sweaty. Ah, uh, makes me so happy. It's so amazing to feel like I'm valued, Big Booty Bow. Everything that you write is a treasure to me. My heart pounds just holding it. I want to write a poem about this feeling. Is that bad, booty, Big Booty Bow? I'm not being weird, right? Having a harder time than usual, concealing my emotions. I'm kind of embarrassed. But, right now, I just want to want you to read my poem too, okay? We'll. Oh my god! This is a this is a fucking page. <laughs> I 
This is an actual page, okay. Wheel, a rotating wheel turning an axle, grinding, grinding. Bottle head, linear gearbox, falling sky, seven holy strokes. A docked ship, a portal to another world, a thin rope tied to a thick rope. A torn harness. Is that torn harness? A parabolic gearbox, expanding universe, time controlled by slipping cogwheels, existence of God swimming with with open water in all directions, drowning. A, <laughs> a prayer written in blood, a prayer written in time devoting snakes, snakes with human eyes, a thread connecting all living human eyes, huh, a cattle scope of, of holy stakes, kaleidoscope of holy stakes, exponential gearbox, A sky of exploding stars. God disproves the existence of God. God disproving the existence of God. A wheel rotating in six dimensions. Forty gears and a ticking clock. A clock that ticks one second for every rotation of the planet. A clock that ticks forty times every time it ticks. Every second time. A bottle head of holy stakes tied a bottle head of holy stakes tied to the existence of a docked ship to another world, a kaleidoscope of blood written in clocks, a time devouring prayer connecting the sky of a sky of faint of forty gears and open human eyes in all directions, breathing gearbox, breathing bottle head, breathing ship, breathing portal breathing snakes, breathing God, breathing blood, breathing holy stakes, breathing human eyes, breathing time, breathing prayer, breathing sky, breathing wheel. What the fuck? Uh -huh, uh -huh. It doesn't really matter what it's about. My mind has been really hyperactive lately, so I had to take it out on your pen. Uh -huh, uh -huh. That is, a pen fell out of your backpack yesterday, so I took it home for safekeeping, and I'm, I just really like the way that writes, so I wrote this poem with it, and now you're touching it. <laughs> I'm okay. What did I just... Can we pretend this conversation never happened? You can keep the poem, though. Huh. Yeah, just as I thought. Hmm? Big Booty Bo, come on. I'm not stupid. I know how much time you're spending with Yuri. It's obvious you care about impressing her. More about impressing her than trying to improve your writing. To put it bluntly, it's kind of pathetic. Why are you even in this club, Big Booty Bo? Honestly, I thought getting a new member would help everyone get more involved together. Not excluding e each other even more. This, this is such a stupid activity anyway. Look, I'm not in a good mood today, and I just really don't feel like talking right now. Please, go away. So the dots reveal a special message? Thank you. That's cool. <sighs> Alright, someone just... Welcome in Liberty Prime. How are you today? Uh, great. Definitely okay. I agree. I agree. 
just got to keep. Just a sec. I'm back. We're all done reading each other's poems, right? Well, we do have something we need to go over. If So if everyone could come sit at the front of the room. Is this about the festival? Well, sort of. Uh, why do we have to do something for the festival? It's not like we can, we can put together anything good in just a few days. We'll just end up embarrassing ourselves instead of getting any new members. That's a concern of mine as well. I don't really do well with last minute preparations. Don't worry so much. We're going to keep it simple, okay? Look, I know everyone's a little more lively ever since Big Booty Bo joined and we started with some club activities. But, 
This isn't the time for us to become complacent. We still have four members. We still only have four members. And the festival is our only real chance to find more, you know? What's so great about getting new members anyways? We have enough to be considered an official club. More members will just mean everything gets noisier and more difficult to manage. Not Suki. I don't think you're looking at it the right way. Don't you want to share your passion with as many people as you can? To inspire them to, to find the same feelings that brought you here in the first place. The literature club is a place where people can express themselves like they can't anywhere else. It should be a place so intimate that you never want to leave. I know you feel that way too. I know we all do. So we should so we should work hard to put something together for the festival, even if it's something small. Right, Big Booty Bow? Uh, oh, come on. You can't take advantage of Big Booty Bow to agree with you just because he doesn't know how, how to say, say no to anything. Look, Monica, do you really think any of us join the club because <laughs> club with other people in mind? Yuri never ever talked until Big Booty Bow joined. Never even talked until Big Booty Bow joined. As for me, I just like it better here than I do at home. And Big Booty Bow isn't even passionate about literature in the first place. And that's everyone. Sorry, but you're really the only one who's interested in finding new members. The rest of us are fine like this. I know you're the president and all, but you should really consider our opinions for once. Monica is clearly taken aback by Natsuki's words. That's that's not true at all. I'm sure Yuri and Big Booty Bo want to get more members too, right? Hmm. I don't know about Yuri, but I'm kind of indifferent. If I showed as much enthusiasm as Monica wanted, then I would probably be lying. Still, if it's up to me to rescue the situation, um... No. Natsuki's right, isn't she? This club is nothing more than a place for a few people to hang out. Why did I think any different? Think that everyone here saw it the same way as I did. But that doesn't mean we're against getting new members or anything. Big Booty Bo, why did you even join this club? What were you really hoping to get out of it? Well, it's not something I can be honest about, is it? In fact, if I remember, you weren't even given a choice not to join. Monica sits down and stares at her desk. What's the point of all this anyway? What it starting a club was a mistake. Now you've done it, Natsuki. I just spoke my mind. Is it a crime to be honest? It's not about you being honest. It's about your word choice. Besides, you have no right to speak for everyone else in the club like that. You don't understand at all. I just... I just want a place to feel nice and hang out with a few friends. Is there a problem with a club being that for me? There aren't. There aren't many places for me like that. And now Monica wants to take it away from me. She's not taking away anything. No, Big Booty Bow. It's not the same. It won't be the same with the direction she wants to take it. If I wanted that, I could have just joined any other stupid club. But this one... I mean... At least... For a little bit of time... Things were nice. That Stuki starts packing up her things. I'm going home. I feel like I don't belong here right now. Natsuki. Natsuki ignores Yuri and walks right out of the classroom. 
This is bad. I don't know what to do. Well, do you have any opinion on the festival? Well, do you have any opinion on the festival? I, I don't know. I'm kind of indifferent, I guess. Who cares about that obnoxious brat? I mean, I know how nice and quiet the club is right now. And I'm just happy, happy with you here. But still, I'm the vice president. It's not right for me to ignore my responsibilities like that. Mm. Nobody would cry if she killed herself. I should do my best to consider everyone's perspectives and make the decision that's right for the club. What about you, Big Booty Bow? What do you want to get out of this club? Yuri repeats the same question as Monica. I decided to give an indirect answer. Is that I decided giving an indirect answer is better than nothing. I think it's the most important thing is for everyone to get along. And for the club to provide something that you can't get anywhere else. I don't think it's about how many members, but rather the quality of each member. That's what will end up making the Literature Club a special place. I see. I really agree with you. Each member contributes their own qualities in a special way. With each change... Holy shit, her eye is bleeding. With each change, a, a member's... With each change in members, the identity of the club is a whole, as a whole, will change too. I'm so focused on the fucking eye. I don't think that's necessarily a bad thing. I'm stepping out of my comfort zone. Stepping out of your comfort zone once in a while. So, if you would like to help Monica with the festival, then I'm on your side as well. Alright. Well, maybe we can talk to Natsuki tomorrow. Yuri nods. Hey, Yuri. Yes. Um... I know things were awkward yesterday, but I feel you deserve to know that I still think you're a wonderful vice president. And also a wonderful friend. Mm hmm Monica, I want to do everything I can to make this the best club ever, okay? Mm, me too. Yeah. Let's all go home for today. We'll talk about the festival tomorrow. Okay. I look forward to it. Shall we go, Big Booty Ball? Um... Please don't take this the wrong way, but I'm going to chat with Big Booty Bo before we leave. Just to see what he thinks of his time here and all that. It's important to me as president. Your looks a little troubled, but she doesn't protest. Okay. I trust your judgment, Monica. In that case, I'll see the two of you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. Yuri waves and exits the classroom. Phew. Things have been a bit hectic lately, haven't they? Big Booty Bo, I just wanted to make sure you're enjoying your time at this club. I would really hate to see you unhappy. I feel kind of responsible for that as president. And I really do care about you, you know? I don't like seeing the other girls give you a hard time. And how mean Natsuki is and everything. And Yuri being a little, you know. Ha 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 ha. Sometimes it feels like you and I are the only real people here. You know what I mean? But it's weird because... In all the time you've been here, we've hardly gotten to spend time together. I mean, I guess it's technically only been a couple of days. Sorry, I didn't mean to say something weird. But... There are just some things I've been hoping to talk about with you. Things I know you could understand. Wait, not yet. No, stop it.
How does this have better writing than the first half? <laughs> okay. Great. What the fuck? Okay. Hi, Big Pretty Bell. I've been waiting for you. Are you ready to continue reading? I brought my best tea today. Monica, I told you not to. Ugh. She's really late again. Being considerate as usual, Natsuki. Excuse me? Did you always interrupt my conversation with your insistently insistent yelling? What are you talking about? You say it like it's regular basis or something. Just wasn't paying attention, okay? I'm sorry. Seriously, what's gotten into you lately? Me? Nothing. Is it really that bad? See, it is something. I'll get over. I'll get over it. It's not even anything noteworthy. I've just been feeling a little on edge lately. Anyway, we don't need to talk about it. Well, well, I just felt that I need to bring it up. It's not like I care anything. Oh man. I'm the last one here again. Well, Big Booty Bo just walked in here too. Are you practicing piano again? Yeah. <laughs> you must have a lot of determination. Starting this club and still trying to make time for piano. Well, maybe not determination. I guess passion. It motivates me to work hard for the festival and, um, right, I forgot, um, about that, Mitsuki, we were all talking yesterday and, uh, we decided we would like to support, would like to support the festival as well, however, I understand how you feel about not wanting the club to change. I think we all feel that way. So, as long as you're, we're all working together, this club will never become something we don't want. Um, also, if you help us with the festival, then I'll buy you a new manga. <laughs> so that last part was really funny. Look. I think so. I did some thinking yesterday. I was a little more hostile than I meant to be. I guess I really felt threatened or something. But I know that's something we're doing together. It's something we're doing together. 
another new member wouldn't hurt as long as they're cool. And I guess another girl would be nice this time. But more importantly, I would hate to see the event suck just because I chose to back out. I'm a pro, you know. So I'm gonna help too. And we'll make sure it's done right. Thank goodness. Isn't that great, Monica? Monica? Huh? Yeah, that's, that's wonderful. It would be the same. It wouldn't be the same without you, Natsuki. Anyway, Big Booty Bow, what do you want to do today? I was thinking we could. We already have plans today. Ah. Uh, is that so, Yuri? That is correct. Big Booty Bow is already engaged in a novel that we're reading together. Aren't you glad I've already got him into literature, Monica? I. I suppose? I was just. Actually, it doesn't matter. It really doesn't. You guys can do whatever you want. Yes. Um, thank you for understanding, Monica. Actually, I have a request. Do you mind if I make some tea first? Not at all. Thank you very much. There's something that can make my reading time here any better is a nice cup of tea. Uh -oh. Did Jerry leave you again? No, it's not like that this time. Oh, okay. Sorry for misunderstanding. <sighs> We're doing this again? Okay. I guess you can just say that Yuri is a cut above the rest. Ha! <laughs> um, wait. How did I? Sorry, it's a really weird deja vu. It hasn't happened to me or anything. This hasn't happened before or anything, right? My head is a little fuzzy lately. I hope it hasn't really been showing or anything. I would hate for you to think I'm weird after we just started spending time together. I mean, everyone has a few unusual things about them. But expressing those things so soon after meeting someone is usually seen as inappropriate or unlikable. At least that's what I've discovered. When I was a bit younger, I think I would come on strongly and get a little too intense. It made people not want to be around me. So I started hating those things about myself, my obsession with certain hobbies, and that way I and the way I couldn't control myself when I get too excited about something. So. I eventually stopped trying to talk to people if nobody would come would ever like me for anything that matters most to me. Then it's easier if I close myself off, but recently something's been wrong. I know I don't know what it is, but everything but every time we come to the club my heart starts going starts to go crazy. It's like it's going to rip out of my chest. It overwhelms me with energy and emotions that I can't let out. And it's making me do weird things. I don't know why it's happening. Big booty bow. Is it just me or has Monica been acting a little off lately? She's been a sweetheart ever since I joined the club. But recently I'm feeling something sharper whenever she's around. I'm not crazy, right? Please tell me I'm not. I couldn't say anything before because she's always listening. But finally we're alone. 
You can stay here for a while. Yeah? I just want to stay here. Just the two of us. We can stay here until the club ends. And we'll have the club room all to ourselves. Nobody would interfere with our reading time. Nobody would feel like... Would make me feel like stabbing myself in the throat. Uh -huh. That was a joke. Just a joke. I do like knives, though. Sounds strange. Oh, shit. Hey, uh. Shame, but I've never seen how beautiful they can be. I have an idea. Why don't you come to my house sometime? I can show you my collection. I've got them all in various <laughs> artisans. I make sure to give them all their fair share of use. I don't want them to get lonely or anything. Nobody deserves to be lonely. Nobody. And that's why I'm happy you joined the Literature Club, Big Booty Bow. Now we don't need to be lonely anymore. Because we have each other. Every day. That's all we need. You know what? Let's quit the Literature Club. There's no need for us to be around Monica's slimy tongue anymore. Not to mention that other pathetic child. We can walk home together every day after school and read together, eat together, sleep together. Doesn't that sound perfect? It's everything you could ever want. That's why you joined the club in the first place. It's almost like it was fate. Fate that we could meet each other. Now. Now we get to be happy. Get the happy ending that I've patiently waited for. Waited years for. Will you do that with me, Big Booty Bow? We'll. Uh, What's going on? Uh, we had some stuff happen. Freaky dicky shit. Ah, uh, fuck. I'm going to be right back.
Alright. What the fuck is this shit? I know, right? God damn. Don't say I didn't warn you, Big Booty Bo. What the fuck? Monica! Oh, fuck. Finally. <laughs> Here he holds my poem in her and it takes a deep breath. I love it. I love everything about it. Pretty Bo, I want to take this home. Will you let me keep it? Please? Sure, I don't care. <laughs> You're too nice to me, Big Booty Bo. I've never met anyone as nice as you. I could die. Not really, but... I just don't know how to describe it. It's okay to be feeling this way, right? It's not bad, right? Here he holds my poem to her chest. I'm going to take this home with me and keep it in my room. I hope that makes you feel good. It makes you good feel good when you think about me having it. I'll take good care of it. I'll even touch myself while reading it over and over. I'll give myself paper cuts so your skin oil enters my bloodstream. <laughs> what the fuck, Monica? Oh, you still bored? Made a bad pun before? <laughs> you can have my poem too. Besides, after you read it, I know you're really going to want to keep it. Here, take it. I can't wait longer. Hurry and read it. Oh yeah, that... I can definitely read that. That's totally... Legible handwriting, yeah. Do you like it? I wrote it for you. In case you couldn't tell, the poem is about... More importantly, I've been doubt it with my scent. See? It's the most thoughtful person. See, aren't I the most thoughtful person in the club? I... I think I'm going to vomit. What the fuck? <laughs> what? Gave your poem to Yuri? Gross. What's with you two? Hmm. Like I wanted to read it anyways. Just pissed me off a little bit that you don't even think of show it. Didn't even think to show it to me at all. Ugh. Okay, I guess I'm going to share my poem with you anyway. I really hate that I have to do this, but unfortunately I don't have much of a choice. Just read it carefully, okay? Then, you can go away. I don't know how else to bring this up, but... There's been something I've been worried about. Yuri's been acting kind of strangely lately. You've only been here a few days, so you may not know what I mean, but she's not normally like this. She's always been quiet and polite and attentive. Things like that. It, it's really embarrassing, but I'm forcing myself to suck it up. Truth is, I'm really worried about her. If I try talking with her, she'll get mad at me again, and I don't know what to do. I think you're the only person that she'll listen to. I don't know why, but please, try to do something. Maybe you can convince her to talk to a therapist. I've always wanted to try being better friends with Yuri, but it always hurts me to see what's happening. I know I'm going to hate myself later for admitting that, but right now I don't care. I just feel so helpless. So please, see if you can do something to help. I don't want anything bad to happen to her. I'll make cupcakes if, you, if I have to. Just please do something. 
As for Monica, I don't know why, but she's been really dismissive about about this. It's like she just wants us to ignore it, so I'm mad at her, her right now, and that's why I'm coming to you about this. Don't let her know I wrote this. Just pretend like I gave it to you. I gave you a really good poem, okay? I'm counting on you. Thanks for reading. I changed my mind. Ignore everything you just read. There's no point in trying to do anything. It's Yuri's unspeakable. F it's Yuri's own fault that she's so unlikable. Can you hear me, Big Booty Bow? If you would just spend more time with Monica, all these problems would go away. You and I are t too messed up for someone as wonderful as you. Just think of Monica from now on. Just Monica. Just Monica. Just Monica. Just Monica. Just Monica. <laughs> yes what? Yes, yes what? What am I yesing? What am I yesing? Okay, am I, do I say yes to this? What the fuck? What am I saying yes to? No. God, for once I wish Glass was here. <laughs> choose no. Joe Biden, what should I choose? Only think of Monica, then yes. Yes. Um. Choose yes. Alright. I'm thinking of a number between 1 and 10. What is it? You and dude have to say. Alright, that dude, your turn. Pick a number from one to ten. That dude. Pick a fucking number. <laughs> You wanted to pick three? Well, pick another one. Holy sh- Dude, you actually got it completely correct. So the answer is no. Okay, okay, great. We're picking no. Okay, everyone. It's time to figure out the festival preparations. Let's hurry up and get this over with. Jeez, why is the mood so weird today? Look, even Yuri's not Im isn't immune to it. <laughs> mm. Stagnating the stagnating the air is common for shadowing. That's something terrible is about to happen. Look, we can just get this done. <laughs> what? It actually was seven. Let me let everyone know real quick that my favorite number is seven. And so there's only two numbers that would, there's only one number that would be in my head if I said pick from one to ten. It's seven. It's always going to be seven. Because that's my favorite number. I'm going to be printing and assembling all the poetry pamphlets. Matsuki, I was thinking. I want to make cupcakes! Yeah, that. Glad we're on the same page. Yuri, you can... Well, it doesn't matter. You can do what you want, as long as you think it'll help. Monica, I'm not useless, you know. Yeah, I, I know that. I already know what I'd like to do. You can't run a successful poetry event without having a the right atmosphere for the occasion. So I'm going to make decorations to set up for nice mood and lighting. There, see? That's a great idea. 
and that gives us all something to do. Hmm? What about Big Booty Bow? Big Booty Bow is going to help me. Wait, you? You have the easiest job, Monica. Sorry, but that's just how it is. Like hell it is. What are you trying to pull? I agree with Natsuki. Not only is your work already more, most suited for one person, but it has laborious events. La laborious. But my task is laborious enough to benefit from an extra pair of hands. Mine too. What, your cupcakes? Please. Like, you would fucking know. All you care about is dragging Big Booty Bo around with you and your stupid books. You and Monica. Hey. I didn't even do anything. Okay, then why not let Big Booty Bo decide who to help instead of abusing your power? I'm not abusing my power. Yes, you are, Monica. Just let Big Booty Bo make the choice, okay? Okay, fine. Fine. Jeez, Big Booty Bo, I know how fed up you are with these two by now. We can just... Matsuki, shut your fucking mouth and let him decide for himself. You shut your mouth! For God's sake. This is never going to end. Just make the choice, okay? Oh! What the fuck, Monica? <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> oh my! <laughs> Where's Sayori? Oh, Sayori's already gone. Woohoo! Dead. Sayori, uh, likes to hang around. Oh, shit, no good. Yeah, not good at all. Everything has already gone to shit. Monica! <laughs> God damn it, I'm trying to do that. <laughs> I'm trying to do Yuri's storyline. <laughs> Bruh. Yeah, fuck! <laughs> Yay, you picked me. Fuck you! <laughs> <laughs> we need Sayori. I know, I know. Sayori, like, just lifted up the mood somehow. Like, everything's just shitty and depressing now. Yay, you picked me. We can meet at my house this weekend. I promise it'll be fun. Is Sunday okay with you? Are you fucking kidding me? This isn't fair at all. It is fair, Natsuki. It's what he chose. No, it's not fair. Giving us all the work and taking Big Booty Bow for yourself. What a shameful thing to do. Yuri, I didn't even give you any work. You decided it for yourself. You're being a little bit unreasonable here. I'm being unreasonable? <laughs> Monica, I can't believe how delusional and self-important you are. Pulling Big Booty Bow away from me every single time you're not included in something. You're so jealous. Crazy. Maybe you hate yourself so much you take it out on others. Here's a suggestion. Have you considered killing yourself? It would be beneficial to your mental health. You're, you're scaring me a little. Natsuki, just let it go. I don't think she wants to be around right, right now. Wants us around right now. See, that wasn't very hard. All I want is to spend a little time with him. Is that so much to ask? Yuri follows Monica and Natsuki to the door. Hey, Big Booty Bo. Yuri is really something, isn't she? Monica giggles as Yuri pushes her out the door. Finally. Finally. This is... This is really all I wanted. Big Weedy Bow, there's no need to spend the weekend with Monica. 
Just don't listen to her. Just come to my house instead. The whole day, with just the two of us. Doesn't that sound wonderful? <laughs> wow. There's really something wrong with me, isn't there? But, you know what? I don't care anymore. I've never felt this good in my whole life. Just being this with you is a far greater pleasure than anything I can imagine. I'm addicted to you. Feels like I'm going to die if I'm not breathing the same air as you. Doesn't it feel nice to have someone care about you so much? To have someone who wants to resolve your entire life around you? Revolve their entire life around you? But if it feels so good, then why does it feel more and more like something horrible is going to happen? Maybe that's why I tried to stop myself at first, but the feeling is too strong now. I don't care anymore, Big Booty Bow. I have to tell you, I'm, I'm madly in love with you. Feels like every inch of my body, every drop of blood in me is screaming your name. I don't care what the consequences are anymore. I don't care if Monica's listening. Please, Big Booty Bow. Just know. How much I love you. I love you so much that I even touch myself with the pen I stole from you. I want to pull your skin open and crawl inside you. I want you all to myself. And I will be only yours. Doesn't that sound perfect? Tell me, Big Booty Bow. Tell me you want to be my lover. Do you accept my confession? Ah! Well, I guess she... Anyways, good luck on your stream, bro, because...